Hey, what's up guys? So I've had the 60 inch very electric standing desk for about six months now. And over that time period, I've noticed some things that I really like about the desk and then some things I didn't like so much. So today I'm gonna be going over those noteworthy things and also addressing some comments that I've gotten along the way. This should be fun. I'm Andy Lou. This is a very desk review. Let's get started. Out of the box, the desk comes with a couple of tools to help with the setup process. There are only two of them. First tool is this fancy looking hex key, which you would use to secure each leg to the frame of the desk. And the second tool is this mallet. If your desk comes with a crossbar, you will use this mallet to hammer it on the back side of the desk. You'll know when the crossbar is securely in place when you see that it has reached the marker on the back of the legs. The setup process is super easy with this desk. It only took me about 17 minutes to set up. So first you'll place the desk face down on a flat surface and then insert the legs into the groove areas on the metal frame of the desk. Then secure it with the hex keys and screws. And then after that, you'll need some help to flip the desk back over to its upright position. And then hammer the crossbar onto the back side of the desk. And you're done. When the desk is set up properly, at its lowest height, it sits at 25 and a half inches from the ground. And at its highest, it sits at 50 and a half inches. You have three programmable buttons to set your standing and sitting heights. In order to program a button to a specific height, first you need to raise the desk to the actual height that you want to set it to. Press the S button, then follow that by pressing the button that you want to assign that height to. I have number one set to my sitting height and number two set to my standing height. Not sure what I want to set number three to, maybe my kneeling height? Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I didn't like about the desk and I hope that very updates in the future is the ability to press the assign button and for it to raise to that setting automatically. Right now, you have to press and hold the button until it reaches that assigned height um, there are other desks out there with this automated option and I feel for as much as you're paying for this desk, this should be something that should have been included. So six months later, and I gotta say, I'm really still enjoying this desk. Even though it's not made of real wood, which I'm completely fine with by the way, I mean seriously. No worries about catching splinters or wear and tear on the wood finish or maintenance. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> no brainer. The only thing that has some wear and tear to it is the control panel itself. After a while, the plastic covering on it started to bubble up a bit. I'm not sure if that's due to me missing the button when trying to adjust the height or if that's just something that just happens naturally. Other than that, I haven't had any issues with the aesthetics or the overall sturdiness of the desk. It's made of a commercial grade steel and topped with a heavy duty laminate. And it's super sturdy from my experience so far. Whether I'm sitting or standing, the desk doesn't wobble with normal use. Even when I stand on it to adjust the vent in my room, there's not much wobble, if any. The desk comes with two motors attached to each leg and together they raise and lower the desk flawlessly. They're super smooth, quick, and reasonably quiet. Here's a sound test to show you what I mean. Now my sit to stand ratio after using this desk is about 60-40, 60% sitting and 40% standing, which is not that bad because before I used to sit about 100% of the time. I like to get it to where it's more like 50-50 or even flip it to where I'm standing 60% of the time and sitting 40 
since these days I'm home a lot more and I don't get as many steps in as I normally do. Like most consumers, I'm pretty sure you want to know about the warranty before making a purchase decision. Well, the warranty that comes with this desk is clutch. For about five years, Vary will cover the surfaces, the motor, the electrical components, and even the cable management tray. Sounds like a warranty worth trying out. And I did just that. I actually had an issue with the control panel. Not so much as a control panel, more so with the bracket that was actually holding it in place. So when I received my desk, I noticed that the control panel wasn't sitting on the bracket. Thinking nothing of this, I tried to place the panel back on the bracket and it fell again. After a closer look, I realized that the bracket was actually broken. So I reached out to the customer rep at Vary, and after about a couple minutes of me telling him about my issue, he was able to put in a work order to have the piece shipped to me within three days. So three days later, I got the piece, mounted the bracket, all is good. The service was really, really good. I mean, he was helpful, pleasant, efficient. All the things that you kind of expect in customer service. I wasn't expecting that. So very get my stamp of approval for the warranty and the customer service. Another thing that I didn't like, despite its greatness, very decided to discontinue this desk. Well, the version of it with the crossbar. I actually like the crossbar. I mean, where else am I going to rest my feet when I just want to kick them up? Seriously, uh, if you guys feel the same way I do about the crossbar, let's leave a comment down below saying, I need bars, son. Let's let Very know how we feel about those bars. All right, guys, that's my take on the 60 inch Very Electric Standing Desk. Drop a like below if you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful. Share it if you liked it. Subscribe if you loved it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.